The Olympic flame back in China. After a checkered tour through 20 countries, it was handed to the chief executive of Hong Kong. <laughs> On the streets, thousands of flag-waving Chinese patriots and a few protesters, less than a handful concerned about Tibet. So we want to represent people that don't have a voice in Tibet while we can still speak up in Hong Kong. But in the end, police bundled her away. They said for her own safety, because the other side were beginning to get out of hand. <laughs> Waiting for the torch to pass, students from mainland China, some of whom were on all expenses paid trips for the occasion, all of whom support the Chinese government. A lot of Western media think that uh, China do some a lot of bad things in Tibet and they use uh, violence, but it's not the uh, real truth. Yeah. Orange for democracy, red for China. As the torch passed, the two sides yelled slogans and insults. The democracy campaigners, those for a free Tibet and Darfur, are well outnumbered in this forest of red. And that, of course, is exactly what the Chinese government wants. It's the Olympics, but it's becoming a festival of Chinese patriotism, of nationalism. The Olympic torch now moves to mainland China, where anti-government protests are banned. Lindsay Hilson, Channel 4 News, Hong Kong.